if I'm a parent, do I want my 18 year old to go to college where, you know, there's more and more evidence that kids are just not really learning that much in college. I'd rather have them have real life experience, learn the value of a dollar, learn how hard it is to work in the real world. And then in their 20s, maybe, if they want to and if they can afford it, they can make the decision to go to college. Is it even worth it to go to college? Should we spend the tens of thousands of dollars? People assume that you have to go to college. And I think that a lot of students go without really thinking through the reasons why they want to go. And so some it may be escapism, some it may be pressure from parents. Some students, especially depending on the school that they attend, they feel that there's no other alternative. I mean, to graduate and have all of the other graduating seniors be going to XYZ college and you're not going anywhere. I mean, that's completely, can you feel completely alienated? It's a pretty risky choice to just not go at all. But that said, college to me also serves like a function of delaying what would otherwise be kind of natural things that you would do in your life, like getting married and having kids and all. In some ways, it's almost like college is like a very expensive babysitter for young adults. It keeps us from sort of settling down. And I think to his point, he's talking about sort of expanding your horizons, broadening your view of what's possible. And I think that's hugely important. That's a really risky idea. It because will, a lot of certainly. people will graduate high school and then they'll start making some money, even if it's not great money. And it's going to be hard to go back to school school and get an education. I know a lot of people that said like, oh, I'll, maybe I'll take some community college classes, you know, Definitely. dabble well, a and bit. I, and I think that's the big <laughs> challenge. At the same time, if you're spending, you know, your first two years in school paying, you know, $27,000 a year or something and yeah. largely just partying, and I'm not saying that everyone does that, but certainly I can say from my own experience, I did a lot of that, especially my first year. You know, what is, the, what is the real value of that? I think there are two things here. The, bo the, the bottom line for, for one aspect of it is, is that if you're going to go and be like a firecracker at Harvard, then you don't really need Harvard to be a firecracker. So Harvard's not really the catalyst to you doing that. So if you're going to be successful, you, you will be regardless of whether or not you go to college. Preach it. <laughs> um, but the, the other aspect of that is um, that if you, go to college and you know you're you're kind of getting these life experiences you're doing it in a bubble and so there is something to be said for going out into the quote unquote real world and examining what you know what what it's like and so many student so many people who go back to school later in life or who go to grad school later in life will tell you that you know they're just such a different person when they go through that experience and their outlook on the education is so much different and a lot of times they're expected to pay for it on their own as well. <laughs> it's very easy to lay out a dichotomy where like, okay, I'm finishing my, gra I'm graduating from high school and like I could go to college or I could start a business. How many people are ready to start a business yeah. at that age? They have no life skills, no life experience and they're not ready, I don't think. That's a fair point, but there are young people out there that do want to be entrepreneurs and they do have, uh, you know, the necessary skills to do it. So it is a tiny, <laughs> tiny amount of people, but Peter Thiel, who is a business investor, has offered uh, people under the age of 20, $100,000 over two years to uh, develop a business idea, and he's willing to invest in it. And I like that, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an alternative to college, but of course you have to have the skills and the entrepreneurial uh, you know-how know to do it, yeah.